not have enough cereal to eat during this first quarter of 2024. This year's lean season coincides with the El Nino weather phenomenon, where Zimbabwe is facing erratic rainfall and high temperatures, meaning we could see low production and a further increasing food insecurity during the remainder of this year. Therefore, this assistance is critical for many people across the country. We appreciate USAID's $11.3 million uh, contribution on behalf of the American people as we seek to support families in Zimbabwe. The assistance uh, we are acknowledging today, which includes cereals, pulses, and fortified vegetable oil, is an important contribution to help the most vulnerable people in rural areas to meet their nutritional needs. The U.S. assistance will cover close to 230,000 people of the total 265,000 people targeted by WFP over the coming months. Through this lean season assistance, the collective efforts of the National Food Deficit Mitigation Program in partnership with the Ministry of Public Service, Labor and Social Welfare aims to reach 2.7 million people over the next three months. We've mapped out areas where people require food assistance. We identified households and individuals in need and registered them to receive support. Our teams are currently on the ground working with our NGO partners World Vision, Caritas and the Mwenezi Development Training Center in Buhira, Mangwe, Chivi and Mwenezi. Each person will receive eight and a half kilos of grains, 1.7 kilos of pulses and 0.6 kilos of oil during each monthly distribution. The receipt of food assistance is unconditional and free of charge. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of work goes into this program and we cannot take for granted the many people who work tirelessly to ensure that those who need it the most can feed themselves and their family. I therefore would like to start by thanking all the transporters and other service providers who make it possible for us to work in Zimbabwe and to get the food to the communities for distribution to the vulnerable households. I also want to express gratitude to our partners on the ground who ensure that we can undertake this important activity efficiently and effectively. And that also includes government at all levels from the central, provincial, the district level and the councils in the, the various wards. I also want to say thank you to my own team here in the warehouse and across the many different sites, including our Harare office and our three field offices in Harare, Mashvingo and Bulawayo for their dedication and their service to the communities. And once again, I would like to thank USAID for their significant contribution, which undoubtedly will save lives. Now, before I conclude, I want to recognize and commend the efforts of the many communities across Zimbabwe for the work they are doing towards improving their food security, for looking after one another, and for caring for the most vulnerable among them. As WFP, we are proud to partner with communities in our rural and urban resilience programs, and the remarkable community gardens are growing a variety of crops and vegetables to ensure their plates have adequate diversity. And urban farmers are producing mushrooms and chickens for themselves and their neighbors. This year, 2024, is not going to be an easy year, as the El Nino weather phenomenon will greatly impact on the success of their food production efforts. And while we stand ready to provide food assistance to those who need it the most, we are also committed to its continuing transformative resilience activities, climate action, and anticipatory risk management. Through our partnership with communities, we will one day meet our goal of zero hunger for all people in Zimbabwe. So thank you all once again for taking your time to come out here today, and I look forward to...